Preparing for an attack or emergency begins long before an alarm sounds. It starts every day with your situational awareness. When you're at work, the dining facility, lodging, or even walking across base, you should keep track of where the closest bunkers are. Each building on base should have an emergency management board that shows emergency notification signals, 380th Air Expeditionary Wing, attack and warning signals, mop conditions, building numbers and section, uniform postures, and the location of the nearest bunker or splinter protected facility. The typical alarm condition that we operate in is alarm green. There are no indications of an immediate attack on our area. When an attack is probable within 30 minutes, the giant voice and ad hoc notification systems will announce alarm yellow. During alarm yellow, don the directed uniform posture and locate the nearest bunker or splinter protected building. Do not enter those areas yet. Await further instructions at a work center or rallying point for your unit. When an attack is imminent or in progress, the giant voice will sound a wavering alarm and ad hoc notification system will announce alarm red. During alarm red, don the directed uniform posture and immediately go to the nearest bunker or the first floor of a splinter protected building and take a covered position within the shelter. When the attack is over, the giant voice and ad hoc notification systems will announce alarm black, initial release. At this time, you will need to establish a bunker commander and begin accountability procedures laid out in the bunker checklist. Stay in your bunker. The bunker commander is the highest ranking person in the bunker. The bunker checklist will also direct the bunker commander to establish a post attack recovery or PAR team. When the giant voice and ad hoc notification systems announce alarm black, limited release, the PAR team, formed by the bunker commander, will begin their PAR sweeps using the bunker checklist and PAR sweep kits located in each bunker. When the PAR sweep is complete, the bunker commander will report the findings and accountability to the unit control center or UCC representative by either calling themselves or designating somebody with cellular service to call. A list of UCC phone numbers along with instructions on how to call using a personal cell phone is in the bunker checklist. When the giant voice and ad hoc notification systems announce alarm black, general release, mission essential workers will be allowed to return to their work centers. In the event that your bunk was not able to call the UCC due to a lack of cell service, the bunker commander can assign a runner to go to the nearest UCC listed in the bunker checklist. During all alarm conditions, be sure to check your wingman for any injuries and perform tactical casualty combat care as needed. All personnel can return to work or regular activities when alarm green is announced on the giant voice and ad hoc notification system. Knowing what to do in each alarm condition before an emergency will help all offer a get back to mission ready faster and keep airmen safe. Check your emergency management board for your unit's specific information.